As the Venice Film Festival trundles on, Oscar-winning animator Hayao Miyazaki is screening his latest hit. The Wind Rises is set to be the veteran Japanese director's last feature film as he has decided to retire from filmmaking after a career spanning five decades. The film is vying for the coveted Golden Lion Award. An animated epic with an anti-war theme. The Wind Rises, Hayao Miyazaki's 11th feature film, is the story of the man who designed Japan's feared zero fighter plane used in the World War II. The film is already a box office hit in its native Japan. Critics say that the film is the director's first to bore infants but touch grown-ups. It's a funny way to talk about a controversial topic. In the story, there's a compromise between a dream to develop technology and a fight to prevent its negative effects. It's shocking, weighty and full of meaning. In the end, I think it's a very strong film, very heavy. It could be a strong end to a huge career. Koji Hoshino, head of Studio Ghibli, which was co-founded by Hayao Miyazaki, said the master animator will retire from filmmaking after this project. Miyazaki was not in Venice for the international premiere, but will hold a news conference next week in Tokyo to formally announce his retirement. The Wind Rises is the third Miyazaki film to compete for the festival's top prize. 2008's Ponyo and 2004's House Moving Castle were nominated. Miyazaki also received a Golden Lion Lifetime Achievement Award in 2005. Liu Wenwen, CCTV.